Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Philly Vlogs. It's just a quick reaction video to the news that Vinnie Pert allegedly has been sacked as manager of Dundalk FC. Now, the tweet came from James Rogers, I believe. He might be a journalist in Dundalk. Um, he said, Vinnie Pert's tenure as manager of Dundalk FC is over. It is understood the 44-year-old has been removed from his position tonight in the wake of last night's 3-0 defeat to NK Celsius. Um... Now, from my point of view, it's not a shock. Um, I've been hearing personally for a couple of weeks that um, there's been serious unrest in the Dodal camp. Um, certain players allegedly haven't been happy with Vinny. Um, you know, this is what I've heard. It might not necessarily be true, but just what I've heard. And just seeing them on the pitch in general. And I felt watching Dundalk over the last few weeks that the body language overall, it's not that they're not trying, just the body language isn't isn't right, hasn't been right in my view. It just does, didn't seem right, to be honest to me. Uh, obviously, results were quite poor. A lot of mistakes in games. Uh, the focus maybe wasn't right on a subconscious level. Um, as I said, the player is definitely trying as such, you know what I mean? But uh, I think if if a number of players fall out with a manager, a lot of mistakes being made. Um, as I said, the body language looked poor to me. If five or six players, you know, fall out with a manager, it's dysfunctional. The team becomes dysfunctional, to be honest with you, and it doesn't quite work um not the players wouldn't be trying but it just it's just not clicking in that sense and if that's the case then I suppose Vinnie Pert has to go um to be fair uh I just wonder where Dundalk go from here um what did do, do, do Dundalk fans think this is the right decision is it a knee jerk decision or if it, if it is right that he has fallen out with some players it, things aren't going to improve, are they? But let's say for a minute that that's not the case and he hasn't fallen out with players. Um, do you think it's fair that he should get the sack so quickly in the season, it would appear? Um, obviously, they haven't won since we've got back to, to the restart as well. But, um, you know, you know, we're waiting for actual confirmation that, that he's been sacked. But who, who would be your choice to manage the side? <laughs> Some people may, mentioned John Caulfield, which would be quite funny, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. Would you look for Stephen O'Donnell? Is currently a Pats, but he's a Dundalk man. Uh, Reynolds, would you promote Reynolds? Would you look for someone outside, someone from England, for example? Um, I think for Vinny's point of view, it was always difficult coming in to take the team over after Kenny. I know he done well last year with the team, but that was the first year, and I always said that the second year was going to be the difficult one for him. Um. You know, I, I don't know. It's hard to know what's gone on there. Do, do Dundalk need a refresh um, of players? Or is it just a case of a new manager comes in and you'll see those players, which you often do. You see those players maybe up their performances again. Um, that's another possibility with Dundalk as well. They have a big game, obviously, against Sligo at the weekend. Um, believe it or not, I had them down for a defeat, but sometimes the team gets a bounce. Yeah, guys, just had to stop there for a second, basically, because um, now this is according to LMFM um, on Twitter regarding the doc. It's understood that Canadian Mark Burton, who is in full, who is a full time coach even in Manchester City, will take charge of first team affairs. Um, now that's all the information I I can see there. I don't know much about him. Uh, if he's first full time coach, Man City, you'd like to think he has a bit something about him. Um, I don't know, like, you know, it's uh, an interesting one. I've just said, should they go and uh, look for someone in England, perhaps? Maybe they're trying to do that. Have they had a plan for a few weeks? One wonders as well. Uh, Dundalk. And, um, you know, is this the final? I'm getting messages here as well, guys. <laughs> they're putting me off big time. But, um, you know, is that going to be the case with Dundalk? Um, I was thinking to myself, if I'm honest, a couple of weeks ago that, if they did find a new um a new manager could give them the kick 
The fact that as well that there would be a serious fear in Dundalk that if they stuck with Pert and results and performances, not just results, but performances kept going to where they were going, that they were in trouble of missing out in Europe, never mind not winning the league. And I don't think Dundalk are a position to be missing out in Europe, certainly consistently over the next couple of years. A lot of players have big wages there. Um, it's a difficult one. But um, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen against Ligue on Saturday. I'm not sure if they'll have a manager in place by then. But uh, as I said, if five or six players, if true, the five or six players have fallen out with Vinnie Pert, you could well see a kick from Dundalk on, it's on Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, but that could be difficult anyway because they've just come back from uh, uh, Budapest as well. So it'll be a difficult game for them regardless, but they need something. Um, do I think it's the right decision? Um I think if he's fallen out of five or six, six players, I think it's absolutely the right decision. Um, if not, I probably would have left them there longer, but we don't know for sure what's going on in the background. Um, what do Dundalk fans think, though, really, about this? Are, are, are you happy about this? Should should he be sacked? Are you disappointed? Do you think he should be given more time? Uh, do you believe he's fallen out with players? Do you believe by watching Dundalk play that something isn't right there in the camp when you see them play or what's your opinion on it anyway guys that's just a quick basically off the cuff um video on this news and uh you know like subscribe uh hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video and i'll see you again guys thanks leave your thoughts in the comments see you now thank you bye bye